The rise in the number of natural disasters due to climate change in the recent past decades, such as floods, hurricanes, heat waves, and landslides, have displaced hundreds of thousands of people. These displacements have led to a rise in refuge problems, and these people need to, need where to stay. But alas, the temporary shelters provided to these individuals are accursed with many problems. Problems such as inadequate space, poor sanitation, overheating, and lack of basic amenities. Our project tackles one of these problems, the overheating that takes place in the shelters of these refugee camps, especially in the places of crowd gatherings like schools and hospitals, which house most vulnerable people, the children, the sick, the elderly, and whatnot. Our project tackles one of these problems, that is that of overheating in these refugee camps. The overheating can be due to the increased heat waves due to climate change that raise the temperatures inside the structure or overcrowding in the structure itself where the bodies generate a lot of heat. So that's where our project comes in, the breathing house. The structure basically mimics the way the human lung operates, that is how the lung takes in and expels air. So our house basically increases the rate of circulation of air in the structure such that such that it's ever cool under all given temperatures. To illustrate how our project works, we assume that hypothetical model whereby we are constructing a rectangular structure made of minion sheets similar to those that you are used to construct unipots. Of course the unipot being made almost entirely of metal sheets, it's heating up during hot days is a great extent, it's uncontrollable. The main superstructure of the unipot comprises of bare aluminium sheets which on any given day can easily heat up and raise temperatures in the structure above that in an ordinary house. The idea, however, can be put to use in any kind of building. It is independent of the type and shape of the structure. Now this is the description of the structure. A breathing house simulates the respiratory system of the human body. The main component of the breathing house is the ceiling. For the ceiling to perform its role perfectly in mimicking the movement of the lungs, it is made up of a flexible membrane. We have chosen to use a canvas. The canvas membrane, which is acting as a ceiling right now, is uh, mechanically operated by a solar-powered motor which is attached to strings and that creates an up and down motion. In this way, partial vacuums are periodically created, hence improving air circulation in the building. We are opting for solar because since we are looking at heat, then we expect a greater intensity of solar radiation in the place, so we are sure of full-time operation. As students, we are grateful for this opportunity that has been available to us to explore our innovation skills and we hope to be better.